1967, U.S. scientist Gregory Pincus and John Rock invented the pill, a revolutionary oral contraceptive that finally freed American women to explore their sexuality without fear of falling pregnant. It thrust birth control firmly into the 20th century, but the race to discover a dependable contraceptive didn't happen overnight. In fact, it took centuries. As far back as 1525 BC, ancient Egyptians used a concoction of honey, acacia leaves, and crocodile dung to prevent pregnancy, while ancient Greeks swore on the contraceptive properties of silphium, a plant that was in such high demand, it became extinct. To be honest, not everyone thought contraception was a good idea. In the Middle Ages, the Catholic Church believed that any attempt to prevent pregnancy was immoral, but that didn't stop Catholic priest Gabriello Fallopio from inventing the world's first condom, made from linen to protect men from contracting nasty STDs. Others, like the Italian lovemaker Casanova, preferred to use sheep's intestines that could be washed and reused. But it took American engineer Charles Goodyear to invent the first latex condoms in 1855. Sex education activists like Margaret Sangers, who coined the phrase birth control in her 1914 book Family Limitation, helped convince a prudish America that contraceptives were nothing to be ashamed of, paving the way for Pincus and Rock to transform the birth control market in 67 and kickstart the summer of love. Today, millions of women around the world take the pill for granted. But isn't a contraceptive pill for men long overdue?